Meanwhile, up the turnpike where Saquon Barkley used to reside, <laughs> and because they franchise tagged him and couldn't get a long-term deal done with him at this point last year, they went ahead and made a long-term deal with Daniel Jones instead. And I think, you know, if they could wave a wand and change the order of that Abracadabra. where they signed Saquon Barkley to a long-term deal that they're comfortable with and franchise tag Daniel Jones, that might have been a better way to go about it. I don't know. Because mm -hmm. you talk to any, you know, you, you hear from Brian Dable and Joe Shane, the coach and general manager of the team, they believe in Daniel Jones. Again, I came back from the combine having heard a rumor, and I don't usually rumor monger, I'm not a rumor mongerer. That's Schefter. That's the Michigan man there. <laughs> the um, in those waters and for those who think that I'm taking a shot at my great no, friend, no, no it's, it's a long <laughs> joke that goes back to NFL Network history, as a matter of fact. So long story short, though, I came back and I heard from the combine that the Giants really don't see Daniel Jones as a long-term future, and they're kind of done with him, and they're going to go into this draft and hit a quarterback. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. Was I right about you coming, that uh, Caleb Williams is a done deal for the Bears? Was I right about the Dallas Cowboys terminology of all-in was kind of different than what you thought, and they were going to make Dak play out his contract? At this point, that looks pretty Nostradamus-like. Yeah. Jaden Daniels being the 100% number two, that's up in the air. And I was off on hearing that a plan B for the Vikings should Cousins leave would be Trey Lance. Wrong about that. Turned out to be Sam Darnold. Another number three overall pick from a previous draft. So I could be off. Daniel Jones was at the Giants facility today. Oh. And we don't know if he's going to be ready for the season. Uh, I don't think he will be. He's coming off a knee injury, a neck injury that apparently isn't an issue. And... Um, which somebody are we going with first here, Mike Hoskins? What are we going with first? He was asked about his thoughts about what happens if the Giants draft a quarterback. Oh. As you know, they're sixth overall, and there's a, a rumor that they uh, might be knocking on the door of the Patriots to see if they'll swap spots. So they get Drake May or Jaden Daniels, whoever's available there, depending on their liking. This is what Daniel Jones had to say about that. How did, would you feel if the Giants used their first-round pick on a quarterback and have they looped you in at all to the possibility that they might do that and, you know, bring in a challenger for your job? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, my focus is, is what I'm doing here with my, with my rehab, um, you know, kind of the same thing with Saquon. It's, uh, you know, the nature of our, of our business. Um, it's a competitive, uh, league. So, uh, you know, the best way to, handle that I think is to focus on on what I'm doing focus on myself and making sure that I'm you know one healthy and then ready to play good football so um you know that's what I can control that's what um what I can do to to uh help myself let me translate <laughs> he wouldn't like it would you like it <laughs> no, no, no. Would, would would the guy who's questioning that like you know hey we're bringing in another reporter who's uh, who's a really good beat writer <laughs> no one wants that no, get no. out of here of course he doesn't want that, but he that's true. One way to battle through that would be to, because whoever they draft, they'll probably have to sit, right? That's why they went ahead and, you know, got Drew Locke. He's going to start week one if Daniel Jones isn't ready. And at some point, Daniel Jones will be back ready and they're paying him a ton of money. They'll play him. And they'll have his chance to show everybody Shouldn't have drafted the quarterback. Should have drafted a weapon for me, which they could do. I mean, Malik Neighbors six. Oh. If the quarterback they 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 want isn't there, if they sit and they they pick and stay, they should definitely do that. Okay, so <laughs> so that's a good answer, non-answer. But of course, he doesn't want somebody there, especially since I I believe he's kind of hearing what I heard at the combine. That the face forward conversation from the GM and the and the coach is a, a, a vote of no confidence. So, what was the second soundbite again? Now we got one. Oh, ask if he's the best quarterback option for the Giants. <laughs> oh boy, check it out. You're healthy. Um, you know this summer in training camp, which you hope to be, and going on into the season, you feel you're the best quarterback that the Giants can have to start their season with. I do. Yes. 
<laughs> wow. Uh-huh. Wow. Do you feel you Chris, do you feel you're the best person for the role that you have on the Rich Eisen show? Yes. Okay. TJ Jefferson, do you feel you're the best person for the role that you have on the Rich Eisen show? I mean, who better than me? I don't need to ask you. I mean, you already know Mike's <laughs> answer. Are you the best per hold on a second? Are you the this is the way to ask you this? Go ahead, Mike Rich. Del Tufu, are you the best person for any role that you think you need to play in life for anything? <laughs> Name anything in your life. Are you the best at it? No, there's better. Oh my but, god. But this guy. Don't pretend to be humble right now. All of a sudden, but, this guy. What, there is there there are better and there is I mean Henry Cavill's are, waiting. But, I thought that would be a quick on. answer. I didn't expect to go but down I am this. the one with the most hole. passion that you oh. ever find. Okay, there you go. That I will take. You won the most That's awards. The that too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And you're happier for you being nominated exactly. than you are no, upset about us a, being snubbed. Stop. That's totally wrong. Hey, right. For this show, look at that beautiful screen. It. Look at that screen. That way. Okay, <laughs> listen. Of course, I love it. This is, this is, this is, oh my gosh. Washington, it's all going to be about who they choose second overall oh, yeah. and did they make the right choice at the head coach position and what's going on in their first full season is having new owners. In... Dallas, it's all about the Jerry Jones philosophy of what he considered all in and how it does play out. If he does go all in by meaning everybody's got to play for their jobs from the quarterback to the coach. What a crazy ass season that's going to be. Certainly if he does somehow not give CD lamb the bag prior to it. Mm -hmm. And Micah is going to be sitting out there too, waiting for it in Philadelphia. It's all about the collapse last season and how do they respond to it? Having kept their coach and, and both Philadelphia and Dallas having an opportunity and Washington to go get Bill Belichick and all of them saying no thanks. Okay. And the Giants too, if you really want to throw that into the ring, but Brian Dable was one year removed from being coach of the year. And in in, in New York, it's like, what are they doing in this draft? And how does that decision inform what they'd have in Daniel Jones? Oh my God, is the NFC East going to be lit this year? Mm -hmm. And certainly in Philadelphia is how do they fare without Kelsey in the middle of that offensive line? And Fletcher Cox in the middle of the defensive line. Cannot wait. The NFC East is just set up, and we haven't even seen a single draft pick chosen. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.